Hi and welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another tutorial of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Before this I've been flying x 11 a lot and now I've just got my hands on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Though it's been 10 days, this uh, flight simulator is out and I was uh, trying to make videos but obviously I was learning because I was uh, comfortable with Airbus, uh, not Airbus 737, <laughs> the Boeing 737 and uh, now this uh, a Microsoft Flight Simulator has got Airbus A320 in it, so I was uh, actually learning how to fly and control this plane. It is slightly different than Boeing 737, and plus uh, some of the things in the Microsoft Flight Simulator are different. So I was just trying to experiment that, and uh, that's and I, plus I was busy. That's why I took some time in coming on, on on my channel and, and making some videos for you. Uh, so far, uh, we have covered the flight planning part. We have uh, uh, covered the starting the plane from the cold and the dark state. Uh, we have covered the pushback and the review communication. Now um, we are waiting at 28 right, uh, waiting for the for the takeoff. We have got the takeoff clearance, as you can see, uh, clear to takeoff. Um, uh, we have acknowledged, and uh, this is it. Um, everything is done now. Um, nose light to to take off. It is set to take off. Uh, we are going to. Take off and climb to 10,000 feet. The flaps are set at one. Brakes off. Everything is looking good. MCDU is fully programmed. Okay, so everything is looking good so far. 28 right. So the other runway is 28 left, and this is 28 right. So we're going to take a right turn, align ourselves with the runway, and take off. Right, you can see it also written on the runway. Now we are aligned with the runway. So here it is, uh, we're off the ground. Plane is climbing, which we call uh, the positive rate. So gear up. Okay, now reduce the throttle, track the flaps, turn on the autopilot. AP1 and now the autopilot will start following the path. Now we'll see uh, over here that the okay the throttle should be at the climb thrust. So we are at the climb thrust right now. Okay. The speed uh, should be 250. Press this button. Okay, let me acknowledge that. Acknowledge handoff. Okay, so now I'm going to turn. Uh, one one eight decimal five five Airbus three two zero. Okay. Now I'm going to turn on the AI. Just radio communications. I will let the AI do those radio communications. Islamabad departure Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray three two zero is at six thousand eight hundred feet, climbing eight thousand feet. Everything is looking good so far. I will just hit the speed, press this button, the down. Engage, select. Selected airspeed and engage the altitude. This one. You have to press, the, I think the down uh, arrow means you're pressing in the button. You're pressing the button. And the up means you are pulling it out. If I'm not wrong. I'm, I've not been into a real. Okay. So this communication will uh, keep on going on. Acknowledge handoff. Handoff is being done. Going to one two five Airbus three two zero. Okay. Now you can see this. Uh, the the plane is Lamar leveling Center, off. Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray three two zero is at nine thousand six hundred feet, descending eight thousand feet. Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray three two zero Lamar Center, continue to IS four zero two as planned. Altimeter two nine decimal five. 
2957. So, right now the altimeter is 2957. We'll set. Two nine or five seven. I think I'll turn this off because they will keep on communicating with each other. Not five for Airbus three two zero. Two nine or five seven. If when I'm making the adjustments, you can see the altimeter is getting changed. Two nine or five seven. Remember that over here in this uh, in this part, QNH twenty nine point five seven. Uh, this part should have this option, not the standard. You don't want to use the standard. You want to use this two nine or point five seven. So this is the adjustment. Okay. Tune into Stamba departure 118.550. This is the autopilot part as I turned it on uh, after the takeoff. This is auto throttle. Uh, so the plane is adjusting the throttle itself. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, this is the speed. Uh, as I told you before, select uh, engage selected airspeed. So if you have uh, you you if you're using this option, the plane will fly according to the speed you have entered here. And a similar thing for the altitude. If you have entered 10,000 over here, and if you press this option, the plane will actually fly at the altitude given over here. Now I'm going to cut it. Islamabad departure. <laughs> Islamabad departure. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 is at 10,000 feet, descending 8,000 feet. I should not be descending at 8,000. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 Islamabad departure continue to stop as planned. Altimeter 29 decimal 5. Stop is the next waypoint. Okay. So we will just uh, fly like this. Everything is looking good so far. Okay. So coming back to the point. So once you t uh, turn on uh, the autopilot, you have an option of uh, setting your speed. If I select this option 250 uh, sorry engage manage speed mode what will happen is that whatever the flight plan has the speeds and the altitude the plane will fly according to that speed and altitude not to the speed and the altitude that i've given similar op similar thing goes for um, the altitude that's engaged uh, uh, engage managed altitude so right now, as I've given 250 knots as the speed, 10,000 as the altitude, so I am not using this option. I'm not um, uh, pulling it out and engage manage speed. So I'm using engage selected, selected. So manage means whatever the speed and altitude over here and selected means whatever I have selected over here. So this is a very small, small uh, thing that you have to keep in your mind. Otherwise, uh, flying out the plane on autopilot is really easy. Uh, let's uh, do the checklist after the right after the takeoff. I just I just raised the gears, uh, retracted the flaps, uh, turn on the autopilot, selected the speed, selected to uh, the engage selected airspeed mode. This option I selected, and then the altitude 10,000 feet, and the plane is flying itself. Acknowledge handoff. Uh, let's go outside and look at it. One two seven better. decimal five for Airbus three two zero. You can see it's flying smoothly, nice, very, really, very really nice and cloudy. I should be at 11,000 at this waypoint at Mech. So let's uh, climb to 11,000 feet. 11,000. You can see the plane is now ascending. So for this purpose, uh, for for this video, um, I'll also give you a basic uh, uh, thing on 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 the on the autopilot is uh, changing the speed. So let's say I decide to change my speed to 320 knots. So I'll increase the speed, 320. And you can see the additional power be given to the engines to increase the speed to 320 and we are climbing to 11,000 feet, so that's it. For the speed, it's easy. When you change the speed, the speed automatically changes. But for the altitude, you have to set the altitude and then press this button. So this is one difference that you have to keep in your mind. This is one thing that I've been struggling. Um, I didn't know what was going on, what was actually happening, 
and I struggled a lot. But remember one thing, once you change the speed, the speed increases or decreases without pressing any button. You see, like 300. So the speed is decreasing and the speed is increasing. Okay. But for the altitude, check, set the altitude. You can see there is no change in the altitude. Unless I press this option, engage, selected altitude mode. So remember one thing. 11,000, press this, it's already 11,000, okay? Now, one thing again, uh, um, which I learned is using this option, okay? Now for the speed, uh, we will set the manage speed mode. If I press this one, what will happen? Now you can see the speed has disappeared from here and the plane's speed is reducing. It is the reason that I don't know why, why this thing is happening. I think maybe something is wrong with the system. Excuse me for that. Okay, so now um, the speed is uh, is gone from here. And now the speed is set to roughly 280 knots. It is as per uh, the speed given in the FMC or the MCDU. Okay. So this is uh, what uh, one thing you have to keep in your mind. Now click the nav log and you will see uh, the navigation log. This is the point at MEC where we will be starting our descent towards uh, the runway. The plane is uh, flying at 11,000. Okay. Let's uh, try one more thing. What if I also press this option, engage managed altitude mode? Now the plane will automatically adjust its uh, altitude, as I told you before, according to the altitude given over here in the MCDU. Uh, so that's it. Uh, this was simple. This was easy. Not that difficult to fly the plane on the autopilot. Uh, now uh, I will be coming up with the next video in which I will uh, cover the descent uh, and the plus uh, approach, eyeless approach, and then landing the plane on eyeless. So. Uh, only one more video to go and hopefully so far you guys have been doing good following my flight plan. Uh, I would suggest you to follow each and every step uh, which I have followed and follow this flight plan and try to do it yourself, this flight plan. Once you're comfortable with that and you can do it without any errors, then you can move on uh, to making your own flight plans and flying the plane on your own flight plan. Uh, so this is it so far. Uh, thank you very much for staying with me. Uh, just to tell you that this video is only for the simulation purpose and not for the real life uh, flying and if you want to learn real life flying there are so certain other sources for that obviously a flying school and uh, this is not the place for you this is only for for the people who are actually new to the flight simulators and they just really want to fly planes for fun thank you very much for saying with me hope to see you soon